Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I'm going to explain an exciting topic called Flutter Scroll Controller. In this session, I will give you the necessary details about Scroll Controller and I will try to cover everything from basics to advanced, ensuring that you will gain deep understanding of Scroll Controllers in Flutter. So without wasting time, let's get started. In this session, I will explain five points related to Scroll Controller. We'll start from the basics of Scroll Controller. Then I will explain how to get current scroll position. Then we'll understand how we can move a list at the top and bottom using the scroll controller. After that, we'll understand how to scroll item wise or famously known as index wise scrolling. Then at the end, I will explain how we can detect whether we have reached or the start or end of the list using the scroll controller. Before we jump to scroll controller, let's quickly understand the concept of scrolling in Flutter. In Flutter, scrolling is a process of moving the visible portion of widget to display content that exceeds the available screen space. Now what is scroll controller? A scroll controller is not a widget, rather it is the normal object, which allows us to programmatically control and manipulate the scrolling behavior of scrollable widgets like list view, grid view, single chat scroll view and many more. It provides us with a method and properties to handle scrolling events, jumping to specific position and retrieving information about the scroll position. Now let's understand how to create the scroll control instance. For this we can write final and then your scroll controller. Let's write some variable name. I will write here say underscore scroll controller is equals to let's write here again the scroll controller. Now, once we got this control instance, what we have to do? We have to associate this controller with the scrolling widget. For example, we have this list.builder and with this list.builder, we have property called controller. And for this controller, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass the value called say, say uh, scroll controller. So what is the meaning of this association? It means whatever scrolling operation that happens on the specific uh, scrollable widget, of course, the list.builder. So this scroll controller can control these scrollable operations with uh, means for that specific widget. So make sure that this association is very important. Until and unless your scroll controller is attached to some scrollable widget, it is useless. It's good program practice to dispose the scroll controller instance after it starts finish. We usually do this inside the dispose method by calling the controller.dispose method. Now let's move on to the second part of the session and that is getting the current scroll position. The scroll controller is listenable and we can listen to the user scroll events through the add listener method. So let me call here the method called add listener on this scroll controller. So we can write here scroll controller dot add listener. So um, actually this method has to be called uh, inside the init method. But as we are not in the stateful widget, we simply have your stateless widget. And that's the reason I'm calling it inside the build method. Now this add listener requires a callback function which will be executed every time when user performs some scrolling operation. So inside this method, I simply want to print the current scroll position. So for this, we can write here say print scroll controller dot offset. Now what this offset will do? Offset is the property that gives the current scroll offset of scrollable widget. So let's save this code and uh, let me show here say my debug console. Let me erase everything from here. And when I scroll, you can observe here on my debug console, it is going to print the position where I'm scrolling. So let me go uh, at the top of the list. You can observe here, it will give me zero. Okay, let me come here. I can see uh, it is a zero. It means I'm at the zero position of my uh, scrolling list. Every scroll controller has the scroll position instance that stores the scrolling related parameters for given scroll view, such as the current scroll position, mean and max scroll extent, etc. In order to get that scroll position, we can simply use property called say position. You can see here, a position is basically a property that returns the scroll position instance. And from this, we can use the another property called pixels that uh, exactly use the same effect. That is, it simply use with offset. Uh, that is the current position where the scroll controller is there. So let me save the code. Okay, let me just uh, uh, just clean my debug console. And as I scroll here, you can see again I'm getting the same kind of result. Now let's understand how we can move the list at the top and bottom programmatically by using the scroll controller. Scroll controller has got two methods, jump to and animate to, which can be used to move current scroll position to desired new position. Jump to will directly move to the new position, whereas animate to will move with the animation option. First of all, we have to delete this code because we don't need it. And let's come at the end of scaffold. Uh, as we are going to uh, move the list in upward and downward direction, 
So we need two different controls for this and in order to create that one, I will use here floating action button. For this button, let me use row so that we can have two different controls here and let's use the children. Let's pass the first button and the second button here. Now let me create my first button. So for this, what we need to write, we need to write here as a floating action button. And yeah, obviously we need this on press, but right now keep it blank. And uh, for this button, what we need, we need a child here. So let's write child. As a child, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write here say icon, and let's use here say icons dot arrow up. Okay, I don't know it's up or upward. Yeah, it's upward. Okay, we got that one. It's quite nice. Let me show the code. Uh, you can see we got this button. Let me copy this button and let me create another button. So for this button now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write here, say arrow downwards. So let's write here, arrow downwards. Here we go. Now let's use main axis for some spacing. So let's write here, say main axis alignment dot. Let's write here, say uh, space around so that we can have some equal spacing around here. Quite nice. And now let me come to the action part here when uh, when user performs some operations here. So what I'm going to do, uh, when user taps this button arrow up, so uh, the list has to scroll automatically at the top and when user click here, list has to scroll at the bottom. So for this, we can simply use say scroll controller and we can write here some method say jump to. What the jump to will do? Jump to will uh, directly jump to specific position. And what is that position? I want this position as say scroll controller dot say position. So position basically gives me the scroll position dot and we have to write here say mean extend or say mean scroll extend what is this mean scroll extend mean scroll extend means uh, we are going to reach or uh, we are going to move the scroll, uh, scroll uh, list to the uh, starting of the list that is the uh, minimum scroll extent now what i need to do i need to use the same code here but with a little difference so inside is on press let me paste this code and inside instead of this uh, mean scroll extend we have to write it say max scroll extend and here we go so let me save the code and let me see the magic. You can see we are currently at the uh, start that is um, at the beginning of list and let me press this button. You can see now we have reached at the end and when I tap this arrow up button, we can move to the uh, start of the list. And now if uh, we are in between in the list and uh, let's say if I just tap this button, say arrow up, you can see we are at the starting of the list and let me again uh, just move in the inside the list in between and we will tap this uh, arrow down button, we will move to the end of the list. Okay, one thing you have observed here is we are directly jumping means there is no animation or there is no effect happening here. Now instead of jumping directly, if you want to perform some animation operation while this jump is happening. So instead of this jump to, we can use method called animate to. Uh, animate to basically requires total three parameters. Okay, let me explain what these parameters are. The first parameter is obviously the value. Okay, the value uh, by which or value to which you want to perform animation means you want to move. Second, it requires a duration. So let's write your duration. So for this duration, what we can do, we can write here say duration and let's add some seconds. Say I will provide here two seconds and it also requires the curve. Okay, basically curve requires the curve by which your animation has to happen. So let's write here say curves dot, so you can write here say curves dot say easy in. Let's write here easy in. Okay, that is what uh, we usually use. Let me format a code. Okay, that's asking for the cost here. So let's write here cost. Uh, let me copy the same code here. Let's copy the same code. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply just paste the code here. Now, instead of this mean scroll extend, obviously, we're going to write here max scroll extend. Save this code. And now, let me uh, just tap on the button. You can see now it is moving to the start of the list, but there is some nice animation. And when I tap on this button, okay, again, it is moving, but there is the nice animation happening here. Using scroll controller, it's possible to scroll the list item wise and it is also known as the index wise scrolling now here i'm going to reuse my existing code so uh, the important thing that you have to understand here you can observe here uh, each of my container inside this item builder has the height of 150 pixel and i'm going to use this specific value here so what you can observe here uh, with this code what we're we going to do we're going to directly move at the top of the list that is at the starting of the list so instead of writing this mean scroll extend, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply write here say uh, scroll controller dot say offset, which is the current position, and we have to simply just decrease the 150 so that we can move uh, upward with one item. And in order to get this animation, okay, instead of the seconds, let's write here say milliseconds, and let's use here say uh, 500 milliseconds. That's going to be fine. We have to do same thing here. 
when we tap the down button instead of just going at the end of the list what you can do we can simply write say scroll control dot the current offset or your current value and you have to increase the 150 so that we can move uh, one container upward means we can just move one container ahead and simply instead of the uh, seconds here let's write here again say milliseconds so and for this milliseconds we can simply use 500 so let me format the code and save here um, you can observe here when i tap this um, up arrow you can see uh, it is moving uh, item wise i can say this is at the index wise moving and when i just tap this down arrow my list is moving item by item or you can say index by index using scroll controller we can detect the start or end of the list and we can inform the user about it so let's understand how to do it first of all let me erase this code because it's not of use for us now and what we need to do we need to convert our stateless widget into stateful widget this is because i'm going to use a string and the value of that string has to be shown on the ui and when user performs some operations like scrolling and i'm going to change that value okay for that reason we need the scroll uh, we need the stateless uh, stateful widget okay otherwise not at all any purpose for making the stateful widget now here uh, let me take a string here so let's write here a string and i will name this as say uh, say scroll location and initially i will use a value of this one as a reach start now here uh, we have got the init state let me use here init state inside this init state let me listen to the uh, scroll option um, operations of user so we can write here scroll controller dot add listener now for this listener we don't need this anonymous function okay we can write here proper function uh, let me define the function outside here and i will name this function as say underscore say listen to scroll movement let's write here listen to scroll movement and we have to pass this function as parameter here okay and inside this function what i'm going to do i'm going to simply track the user operations here for example uh, i will use here say if uh, the scroll controller dot offset okay if this offset is exactly equals to say our scroll controller dot say position dot mean extent it means user has reached at the minimum scroll extent so in this specific case what i'm going to do simply use some another string here so let's write your string okay uh, i can name this as say current location so let's write here current location initially i will keep this as blank current location is equals to say reach that otherwise what i will do i will again check the condition and i will check again say if it is equals to the end of the list that is the uh, max scroll extent so let's write here say max scroll extent so if it is at the max scroll extent then the current location has to be reached end uh, if it is not if it is not means uh, it's not at the um, uh, end or it's not at the start of the list then what it has to be i think it has to be in between so we can write here say in between in between list and um, after this code happens where i'm going to save this state and inside this state state i'm simply going to write say our scroll location that is i'm going to change the value of the string and it's passed the value of this current location here and we are done here so let me format the code now instead of showing this uh, scroll controller test what I'm, what I'm going to do uh, here i'm going to pass that specific text here the specific string so let's write here underscore scroll location and i think we need to uh, simply remove this const okay it's going to work format the code and let's save the code here now you can see initially it is showing me reached uh, the start and when i just scroll you can see it is showing a message in between even if i scroll uh, here up and down it is showing the message in between and when i scroll down at the end of the list it will show me a reached end so if i scroll again and again it is showing me the same message reached end and when i scroll a little up here it is showing me in between list so it's working quite nice let's go up and when i reach the start it is showing me reach start and when i just begin uh, move here it's showing in between the list so our code is working perfectly fine that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful knowledgeable then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get the latest videos.